Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're looking at the difference of two squares. And here we have a square that has an area of a squared. We have another square here that has an area of b squared. If we take these two areas from each other, we will get a squared minus b squared. Okay? Look at the top length of this uh, shape here. That will be the full length a minus b, it will be a minus b. And we can split this up like this, so we'll have it as a red and green rectangle. These two areas are still the exact same. And what we're going to do is move the red rectangle to the bottom of the green rectangle like this. And the height of this rectangle is a plus b, the width is a minus b. If you multiply those, we will get the area of the green and red together is a plus b times a minus b. But as you saw before, that is exactly the same as a squared minus b squared, like this. And those two areas are exactly the same. And that is showing us that a squared minus b squared is the same as a plus b times a minus b. So this is a fact uh, in maths. A squared minus b squared is the same as a plus b times a minus b. And so di different forms of this, so it doesn't always have to be a's and b's. It could be x squared minus 64. That's 64 is 8 squared. It could be x squared minus 9, which is 3 squared. a squared minus 100 uh, will be a plus 10, a minus 10. Because a squared is a squared, and 10 squared is 100. And of course we can use different letters as well. b squared minus z squared is b plus z times b minus z. Okay, so every single time you've got a square minus a square, you can put it into brackets uh, where it's the square root plus the square root, the square root minus the square root. You will have to do a lot of square rooting for this when you want to factorise it. Okay, so let's just look at one of these examples and we are going to expand that with our crab's claw. So here we have a crab's claw, and we're going to expand it like this, multiplying out the brackets, and you'll see that the two middle terms, minus 8x and plus 8x, cancel out. And it does work. You can try this yourself with all of the examples. Okay, now uh, more complicated examples, we might have uh, 4x squared minus 9, and what we do is we square root both terms. We square root 4x squared, square root of 4x squared is 2x, and square root of 9 is 3. Just look at the uh, square root of 4x squared, that's 2x times 2x, and we can put it into brackets uh, like this, where it's 2x plus 3, 2x minus 3. Again, you're just square rooting both terms and putting it in this pattern. One with a plus, one with a minus in brackets. Now some examples here, uh, 25x squared minus 1 16th, the square root of 25x squared is 5x, because 5x times 5x is 25x squared. The square root of 16, 1 over 16, is 1 quarter. Just square root the top and the bottom of the fraction. And we get this, 5x minus a quarter, 5x plus a quarter. For the bottom one, 9a squared, that square root to 3a. And 4 over 25b squared will become 2 over 5 b. And so we get this. And again, just look at those fractions, they can be quite interesting. So the square root of 1 16th, you square root the top and the bottom of the fraction, and you get 1 quarter. The square root of 4 over 25 b squared is 2 fifths b, because we square root in the top and the bottom of the fraction. Those are harder examples, and they will be pushing you at GCSE level. Okay, you might want to uh, spend some time expanding all of those brackets and just making sure you agree uh, that this does in fact work out. But if you're happy, uh, I've got some practice questions for you to try here, uh, where I've got the factorised form on this side and the expanded form on this side, and I want you to uh, go backwards and forwards for all of those. For the first one, I want you to show me what the expanded difference two squares version is, and then uh, the same for the second one, I want you to factorise it. At the bottom, I've got a challenge question for you, x to the power 6 minus 7. I want to really think about that one. What is the square root of x to the power 6? What is the square root of 7? And put it into brackets and see what you come up with. 
Okay, so pause the video now and try to fill in that entire table yourself. And if you're ready, I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Okay, give yourself a tick if you got it right. Uh, well done. Uh, let me know how many you got correct in the comments. Thanks for watching today's video from Advanced Maths. Uh, we have plenty more videos coming every week covering GCSE, A-Level and IB. So make sure you still like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching guys and good luck in your exams.